Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another DIY project. And since BB cushions are very popular in Korea and also in the Philippines, every brand has their own version. Most BB cushions that I've seen and tried before are too light for me. And it seems to be difficult to find the perfect shade, especially for those who have deeper skin tones. Most of the BB cushions that I've seen doesn't have a wide array of shades unlike um, the usual foundation shades that I've seen in the market. This is a good way for you to use up all the foundation that's either too light or too dark for you. Or better use your existing foundation that perfectly match your skin tone. So all you have to do is to mix them together and create your own concoction. And this is how it looks like. These are gorgeous containers. See here, the one I'm holding right now has a glitter or a shimmer on it. And then the other one is an ombre um, effect. You'll see there a plastic covering for the mirror. So you just need to take it off if you want to use it. And then there is a sponge here. And you'll see here there's a cover. And then if you want to open the cover, there is the sponge. So this is where you're going to put your uh, mixture of foundations and whatever um, product that you want to mix with. The thing about this is you know what particular product you want to put in your face. This one right here, I've already uh, created my own version of BB Caution mixture. So I filmed it in advance. And this is what I'm wearing right now. Um, the BB Caution that I've created. So and this is how it looks Since like. Since I've used all the products that I wanted, it's also my perfect shade. So I'm very happy with the result. Since the mixture that I've created is intended for oily skin. Since I have a very oily skin, what I did was I mixed all my matte foundations and it came out very well. I have a perfect shade. And then I also use different products that I know that it will hydrate my skin as well and it mattifies uh, my face throughout the day. By the way, I bought these containers online. I'll put the link in the description box below to see where I bought these containers. And I bought these for 120 pesos each. It's a good deal. And if you already have an existing BB cushion container that you already used before, you can use that. So guys, if in case you want to use your existing BB cushion containers, please make sure to sanitize them, especially the sponge, because you don't want any bacteria to build up on your skin. So if you're someone like me who wants to save money instead of buying those expensive BB cushions in the market, I'm gonna show you how I did this and keep on watching! You'll need a clean mixing container and a spatula to mix all the ingredients. I used a tinted moisturizer from Quick FX because of the moisturizing and lightening effect on my skin. It also hides blemishes and scars instantly. I used the whole packet of this product which is 10 grams. It retails for 59 pesos. I'm adding No Shine Mattifier from Quick FX as well. It absorbs oil and smoothens out the pores. I just use around 5 grams. The product retails for 99 pesos. I also used the CC cream from Quick FX. It helps to eliminate my skin. This product retails for 99 pesos. I'm adding a BB cream with SPF 50 plus. This covers blemishes, whitens, and protects my skin from harmful rays from the sun. There's a lot of benefits using aloe vera gel. It helps moisturize your skin, fights acne and skin aging. And for my foundation, I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. And I'm in the shade 108 Caramel Beige. I'll be mixing it with LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade Sand. I'll be adding about 7 pumps for this mixture. I'll be mixing all the products together. If you noticed, I didn't add any oil-based products because oil-based products usually separates from the liquid-based products and it's going to be difficult to mix them well. 
and also my skin is very oily so I want to get rid of any products that will add up oil to my skin keep mixing until we get the right consistency remember to always do a patch test to see if the mixture matches your skin this way you can gauge if you need to make any adjustments to your concoction at this point I'm already satisfied with my mixture and I'm gonna start moving my mixture to the empty BB cushion container Next thing I want to do is to take out the sponge inside the empty container using my tweezers. Dip the sponge onto the mixture and squeeze all the products you wanted to have in your BB cushion sponge. As soon as the sponge is soaked with the foundation mixture, scrape off all the excess foundation mixture to the empty container. Next is to place the sponge back in the container carefully and make sure that the products are soaked up well. Next thing that you want to do is to clean around the container. My concoction has a medium to buildable coverage. I've been loving how cushion foundation does on my skin. It minimizes my pores and gives me nice even coverage. It also makes my skin look fresh and natural. That's it! I hope you learned something from this video and you can also make your own BB cushion foundation. Thank you for watching! Bye guys!